everybody, welcome back to Pursue Beauty. I'm here today with a video that's a little bit different from what I normally do, and I'm calling this the monthly dreams. Um, I mentioned in my favorites video, if you haven't seen that one yet, they're, they're gonna kind of come out around the same time, um, about my planner, and it's the um, Tranquil Tranquility Du Jour uh, day book, which I mentioned in my favorites video. I'll show you really quickly here what it looks like. So in this, uh, day book, um, the author or the creator of it, Kimberly Wilson, encourages you to draft what, the, what she calls the monthly dreams. So that essentially means things that you either want to achieve that month or things that you are going to strive for that month that um, you know, you want to write down and remind yourself. So it's, it's proven that if you have a goal, if you have something you want to achieve, it's always it's always good to write it down, right? Like you, you're gonna. The chances of achieving something when you write it down are higher than when you just think about it and you don't formulate and actually put in paper on paper. So I wanted to share with you, maybe on a monthly basis going forward, what some of my dreams are, some of the things I want to achieve in a certain month, or what I want to do, or I want to behave in a certain way, whatever it is. I kind of want to share with you, and I hope you. Um, find these that kind of the things helpful in a way and hopefully you'll share with me as well some of the things you wanted to do for this particular month or whatever right we uh, every year on a new year kind of uh, time of the whatever you you drive you draft your resolutions it's almost the same thing however you're doing on a monthly basis and it's sort of linked to what you to what you kind of draft as your resolutions for the year. So there are like little monthly steps to get you closer to achieving those resolutions that you set yourself for for the beginning of the year. So some something along those lines. Because I didn't do a January's video for this, I just wanna go, quickly go through what I wrote for January and kind of touch base as to whether or not I achieved or I did some of the things I said I was gonna do. So I used like this cutout from a magazine and it says, it used to say every plate is a clean slate. So I crossed out where it said plate and I wrote down month. So every month is a clean slate. And then I wrote things on, on here that I wanted to do. So one of the things was uh, clean out my closet and dresser and then office. I did do that. I did clean out my closet and my dresser, but I did not get to my office. So that's kind of jumping from my February's. In fact, I'm gonna actually write down here um, to clean out my office. And by that I mean sorting out things that you don't use, you know, clothes that you haven't touched in more than a year, you're probably never gonna wear again. So just kind of cleaning up, decluttering, you know, it's always a good time to do that. Um, I had go skiing to breathe the cold air from the top of the mountain, and I've done that twice this month. And I'm having a great time going skiing in this winter. It's been kind of great for, for skiing with all the snow. Um, I had a three to sign up for a class that I wanted to take in a local, um, sort of like church cl close to my house. So I signed up for that. I've been going to the classes. Um, leave work on time. This was really important for me for this year and I've been able to do it for the most part. Once in a while, obviously, you ended up having to stay a little late, but it's not nothing crazy. So I've been good with that. Um, Another thing I wrote down was spend time with family and friends. So uh, one of the things I set up for myself this year is to really spend more time with the people that we have around us as family and friends. So I've been doing, we, we were good this month, uh, hanging out with, with some of our family members and celebrating birthdays together and having some parties, which was kind of fun. Um, live in the moment for me is something very, very hard to do. I'm always thinking ahead or thinking from the, in the past. I'm never kind of in the moment, so that's something I have to work on constantly. Uh, that's gonna probably be in every month for me. Then I set myself to do a 30-day yoga challenge. Um, I'll put the link of the girl that uh, launched this challenge. It's Adrian. It's that yoga with Adrian is the is the channel. She's kind of a, a cool girl down to earth, um, you know, very accessible. She, her motto is uh, find what feels good. And it, you know, her classes are really easy to follow. I can't say I did the whole 30 days, but I was trying to squeeze in a, one of her videos as much as I could in the month. So I can't say I did the whole 30 days because I'll be lying, but at least um, I did quite a few quite a few days this past month uh, following her videos. And I didn't intend to continue doing that because I thought it was really, really nice and I felt really good. So 
doing that going forward. And then I had two books that I wanted to read, which was The Rosie Project, which I finished um, even before January. And then I had The Rosie Effect, which I read this month. So that was my January's monthly uh, dreams. Now I have to draft my February's. I've done a little draft of it. I have not put on my date book yet, but this is what the, the, the page kind of looks like. And so it's a blank canvas for you to write. And it's my time to kind of just get to it and, and, and do a little decoration and just kind of be, be, you know, nerdy that way. So I kind of quickly draft on one of my journals what some of my uh, February's uh, dreams. So I'm going to share them with you really quickly. So I wanted to go skiing again at least twice, two more times this month. Um, I have a pass. I have all my equipment. I'm doing really good this month, this year in, in skiing. I'm really feeling really confident, um, doing really well. So I want to keep this dream for February as well and enjoy as much as I can of the winter. Since it's there, you know, I might as well enjoy it. Um, visit my in-laws at least once or twice this month um, just to keep up again with that theme of of you know hanging out with family and being with family and i also here need to add call my mom at least once a, once a week um, i've been doing really good with that as well my mom lives abroad i'm not in the same country as my mom so with my sister i talk a lot on the on through like phone and text messaging and stuff like that but my mom i have i actually have to call so I am doing really good these past month and I intend to continue that um, throughout the year as well. I do want to do something nice for, for Valentine's Day this year. Um, celebrate with hubby and I, probably something at home nice and just kind of romantic, but not kind of going out there to fight off the, the crowd in the restaurants and stuff like that, but probably do something nice and romantic at home and just give some emphasis of the time that we, we can spend together, the two of us, without distractions and things like that. Um, I want to enroll in a different challenge this month, which is a 30-day meditation challenge, and I will probably drag Hubby to do it with me. He actually enjoys meditating, so I'm probably going to do it with him. I'll put the link below of the, the channel I'm going to follow. Um, today is February 1st, and the, the challenge is kicking off today, so I'm going to probably start. And it's probably like 10-15 minute videos every day that you follow and you, you meditate for that a certain amount of time. So that's what probably I'm going to do. I want to exercise at least 15 to 30 minutes a day. It doesn't even need to be much just to get something done, whether it's a quick video, quick yoga video, a quick uh, elliptical downstairs. I have the equipment at home, so I have no excuse to not get some sort of exercise done at least two to three times a week. So let's see how I do this this month. Um, again, continue to find balance between work and life and just kind of work while I'm at work and then when I come home just kind of let go and, and relax and recover for the next day. So this is definitely something that I'm I'm really really putting effort this year to to achieve to really find more of a, a balance you know life work balance. Um, I want to post at least one video a week on my YouTube channel. I feel like I I could post more things I just sometimes don't get to it and if you know, working full time, having to take care of the house and stuff like that. Sometimes just gets really busy and I don't get to do the videos I wanted to do, but I will try my best at least try to do it once a, once a week. I'll see, we'll see about that. I want to journal every day, at least like every day, whether it's one line or it's, I have multiple journals. I'm like a big nerd when it comes to this stuff. So I have my day book that I share with you. I have this other journal that I started sometime last, last year. Um, sometime in November last year and I'm just kind of I started writing on it and then stopped and you know I want to finish at least this this journal and then move on to a different one so I want to write something every day whether it's on my journal whether it's in my blog whether it's on my day book but I want to make sure that I touch base with myself like every day you know how I'm feeling how was the day today that kind of thing I think it's really important for me and then last but not least I want to find the time to, to declutter my office space. I do have quite a lot of, um, you know, mater reading materials that I don't need anymore or old books that I could donate or old, like, makeup stuff that I bought a very long time ago, don't use, I could definitely get rid of. So those are some of the things I want to kind of get out of this office sometime this month. So... Those are my February monthly dreams. I hope you kind of get the hang of what this is about. I hope you uh, find some 
inspiration in a way of something that you want to do. I hope you share with me some of your uh, dreams, as you will, for this month or for the year or something you're looking forward to this year or this month, next week or what have you. So I wish you a wonderful February and please leave me comments below, leave me uh, questions below, whatever you want. Just I really, really uh, get a kick out of the communication we get with each, with each other. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. Thank you.